morning. Welcome to the Brookfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, January 31st. Wow, 31st, huh? Yep. Ask everyone to please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Any motion to approve the payroll warrant for 13117? I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. Mr. Wallinan, District Agent Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Tuesday, February 28th. All are welcome. Any other announcements by the board? Anybody wish to address the board this morning? <laughs> Hearing none, on to the agenda. Item number one. Uh, 2017 Ford Expedition. In our discussions for the past month, we've been discussing returning this vehicle. Unbeknownst to ourselves, um, it was registered by the chief, uh, so it makes it a used vehicle. The dealership is unwilling to return it, and we're in a situation where basically the vehicle is ours. So the floor is open to discussion. I had talked to I had talked to the dealer last week, and he said it, it's going to be very difficult to sell this vehicle mm -hmm. because he says most of the most of them are being ordered in black. And this uh, the, one the colors to me is not an issue. It's, well, it's a registration. It's a registration. I have a problem with that too. And mm -hmm. uh, he went, he registered it, and we've got the title. And he, he didn't follow, I'm still well, saying he that, didn't follow that's, proper procedure. That's, that's a different discussion we have to deal with this morning, what we're going to do with Town of Field with the vehicle. If I have to motion that we bring the vehicle on board, there's not a choice. The choice that we have is what capacity. Do we want to, when Miss Lincoln's talking, mm -hmm. protocol wasn't followed, no. there is a case uh, that we can make where we don't have to outfit the vehicle. That's it's bad money. I think we just move on. I mean, that's, that's my recommendation. So give the dealer, well, the detailer permission to complete, complete, complete the purchase. And then we can make that motion to complete the purchase and move on. And then we'll talk about procedures. Not about purchase. I think it should be to allow the detailer to finish completion of complete the transaction of detailing. Yeah. Yes, in motion. You want to second it? I'll second for discussion. Um, I'm on the fence with it. Uh, last advisory committee meeting, there was a discussion of individuals using vehicles, and uh, by law, we have to submit mileage. There's a possibility we could use a vehicle for for something like that. We're keeping the possession of the town. This vehicle's already been licensed for the fire department. Again, it's just spending. We just move on. We have some issues to do with procedures so that we don't have this happening again. And I think that that's where we should focus our attention. So, Linda, I'm, I'm almost going to argue that we finish it. We take possession. The fire department needs a vehicle. There's never been a doubt that the fire department didn't need the vehicle. Um, the extent of this vehicle as a taxpayer and other taxpayers in the town of Brookfield, that's that's where the issue lies. I don't think we need such an expensive vehicle, but due, no, due, due to, the, to the chief, we, we have it. So we have to deal with it. Well, the problem I have with this, I had a visit a visit from one of the fire departments and the paramedic here in the community, and he, he feels, I guess, that um, nothing was done wrong with his concern, and, and they said how the town is wasting the money. We, didn't, we did not waste money on this. It was Chief Martell who did not follow the proper procedures in getting this in buying this uh, vehicle. Well, it's not only the procedure, it's, and this is going to you, Clarence, as well, is every discussion that we had in an open meeting in the room over there, Mr. Martell was told by this entire board to look for a used vehicle. He was. He wasn't told to look for a And again, he didn't bring anything to the board. He did not bring the board, but he did do the research of the used vehicle. We all had, we all had a, um, 
email from a citizen last night. Yeah. I don't know if you reached out to that citizen. Did you get it? No. Um, I reached out to the individual. Um, he's claiming that, again, we brought this up last week, that the town meeting allowed the chief to do what he did. Um, he's, he made the statement that the policy that we have was made only for the highway department. It's absolutely incorrect. It is incorrect. We, we um, and I, I believe the vote on the floor was unanimous to allow the money to go to the fleet repair replacement yeah. account, which the selectmen oversee. Correct. So I just we, we need to put a hole in that and just be done with it, or a nail in that and be done with it. Um, there's still a motion on the floor. I think we've no. all voiced our opinion. No, I'd like to voice a little more on it because how how would how would um, the townspeople uh, feel if we didn't have a debt exclusion enough money to meet a debt exclusion payment? How did they feel if we went to the ambulance account and just signed off on that? They wouldn't. They would be. Would there be a big uproar over that? Yes. We don't go into other people's accounts, take their account numbers down, and and write that we approve of this because it's not an approval. And this is what he did. He, he went into the selecting the fleet account. He filled out a voucher, put on the account number, and then he signs the voucher, which he had no right to do. And they wouldn't like it, like I just said. If we needed a payment for a debt exclusion, we didn't have the money that we went into the post, the ambulance account. And we wrote out a voucher and signed for it. They wouldn't like that. But what he's doing is all right. And I'm tired of hearing people saying, we heard from a resident last night, we're on a witch hunt. We're not on a witch hunt. You want to call a witch hunt? They were out for a witch hunt on me when I retired six years ago. They were on a witch hunt. They tried to find anything they could against me, make me look like a failure, but they didn't because I came on top every time they tried. They did a witch hunt on a former police chief, but nobody says anything about that. And I'm just tired of all this. I, I, it's about, I, I appreciate it, your, your well, voice. Well, it's about time, but it's about time people realize we're not on a witch hunt here. The chief is our, we, he works for us. We don't work for him. And he plays politics, and it's about time to stop playing politics. People right, think right. that he's all really white. He's not. Right. We have some issues with procedures in the town. We need to face him for the procedures, because the intent of the select board in 2011, when we wrote the newer procedure, was, was not incorporated. And I'd like to move from Get the vehicle done. Let's move back to the procedures because the procedures, I'm very concerned that we did not put the procedures out properly. The procedure is missing some things that were the intent of the board in 2011. I think we need to face into it. So with the motion on hand, voicing, uh, answering your question, I don't think I'm gonna entertain a procedure discussion tonight or well, this morning, I'm okay. in tonight mode. Um, I completely disagree with you, okay. that procedures. Yeah, and, and before we leave then, I will give you documentation mm -hmm. that I would like to review at the next meeting. Okay. Well, wasn't when we did all those procedures, we sent this around to all of the departments. I was, I was here, input. I was here in 2011, Peter was in the room, yeah. the, the intent was not the highway department, as Mr. O'Connell stated, it was for every department for whenever we needed vehicles so we didn't have to have special talent or go to a town meeting. I've made so every, that every department. Time. And yep. I, I was part of it. Yep. My signature was on it. My vote was for it because of that. It, proper good management mm -hmm. is not going to a town for every little vehicle that we need. That's a little vehicle. When we need a fire engine, we need an ambulance, when we need a bigger plow truck, that's when we go for so many vote. Mm -hmm. So your intent in 2011, when you, and again, I believe this to be the document that- That's not the document. No, 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 no. This is the overriding procurement document of the town. That's a current. procurement document. That's but correct. We have, we have a policy still in place for, for, for the account that we're talking about. Okay, so now, okay. Again, we, you, you would prefer not to do mm -hmm. this this morning, that's, that's fine. But what we have is we have issues with the distribution of this document and the clarity because again, I would read this document as the 2011 agreements were null and void, are null and void because of a current or more current document that talks about the same practices. But what, what, what happened when this document was created is the 2011 intent was not brought forward. No, Herb, did you have anything to say? 
Yeah, just to uh, state about purchasing through that account. I've done it twice and I've signed the voucher twice under that account. You, you've always brought it to our attention. But I'm, yeah, I'm the one that personally signed for it. No. As a department head, just to let you know, okay. <clears throat> Any other discussion on the motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Opposed? No. Two no. motion carries two to one. Um, Karen, can you contact the distributor asking to complete the transaction? Once it's uh, completed, to um, either arrange for delivery okay. or if we need to go pick it up, contact me and I'll take care of that. Uh, further discussion on this once the town has it. I would feel more comfortable with not using the vehicle till we have the situation resolved. I feel, I feel the same way. Are you opposed? Oh no. In fact, that to me, that motion that I made, I, we need to bring, bring forward. And again, I look to those that are doing the, doing the work to complete the work so that we have information to deal with. We do. What pretty much has been completed, and I have to meet with the town account on um, okay. different questions and things right. that we have. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're in agreement. So I'm going to entertain a motion so it's on record uh, that the delivered vehicle will not be used until the um, status mm -hmm. of the Fire Chief on Administrative Leave is resolved. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Sure. Any discussion? Maybe not all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number two. Could, could uh, <coughs> just before we leave, yeah. want to make sure, David? Well, David snuck in. Yes, he did. I just wanted to have these documents in your possession, and I wouldn't entertain or suggest that we entertain a discussion of the findings that I have yeah, with the we'll audit that I will put it on <coughs> as an agenda item for okay. next week. Thank you. Thank you. I will entertain a motion Yes, but okay. This one's sad. Um Entertain a motion to approve a cemetery deed for Miss O'Leary and for Mr. and Mrs. Erickson. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Mm -hmm. None all in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> oh, this is cool. Too late now. You had to finish. <laughs> I'll give you this for the next one. Item mm -hmm. number three, removal of dead cherry trees. Mr. Eaton contacted me in regards to um, so, uh, cemetery trees. It's been a long day already. Um, cherry trees along the Route 9 corridor that were planted, I believe it was under a grant, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm -hmm. For the simple fact that it was a grant, I just wanted to bring it to the boards. My belief is that our, our um, tree warden has the ability to remove trees at his discretion. I don't think he has to come before the board, obviously, unless it's on a scenic way where bylaws and state law requires him to have a hearing on that. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, Herb, is there money in the budget for the removal of those? It's going to be done, you know, during the t town time and everything else, so it shouldn't be any cost so you except for our labor time. You don't have to hire anyone? No. So it's just opportunity? Uh, just to let you know, they had somebody come in to look at all the trees and assess them. And well, that's what they come up with. Those are pretty visual, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. But this, this goat, well, they're dead. Oh, yeah. But they're talking about replacing them, too, so. Can, can I, can I, because I, you know, oh, I've been. Kermit's here, sorry. Yeah, that's quite all right, Kermit. Uh, <clears throat> they were, yeah, they were planted, 75 trees, approximately 75 trees were planted over 20 years ago with grant funding and volunteers. Um, uh, there's now 61 trees standing. Of those, uh, 20 are totally dead, and that's been uh, reviewed by Lamoureux. There's 20 that are in 
severe distress and there's 20 that are pretty healthy. Um, grant funding has been received by Appleseed of $2,000 to uh, replace the first 20 trees. That will be done with that grant money and volunteers, so another no charge to the town. So well, thank you for that. With that, my... I, can, I, can I, let me just well, say that okay, I'll write my notes down. Critical is that we've had Mr. Lamoro reviewing the kind of trees we're gonna replace them with. The ones that we put in probably were not appropriate for uh, the atmosphere here close to the highway. We have issues of being uh, the distance from the highway, so we have to deal with the state highway department. We have overhead lines, and we have uh, atmospheric conditions, salt conditions, and so forth. So they will be replaced with, with a different kind of a tree, a flowering tree that's more adaptable to the environment. So I've been trying to get a stump grinder in town for years. Um, with the removal of that, the volunteers, are they taking out the existing stumps as well, or? The little stumps are going to be just popped with the back out. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that's up. my concern is, yeah. obviously, Scenic Road, Route mm -hmm. 9 Corridor. Oh, sure. sure. I'd like to see all that. Okay. Any other comments by anybody? I'll entertain a motion to allow the Highway Department to remove the 20 or so dead cherry trees uh, for future replacement. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Any all in favor? Okay. Uh, highway surplus. Uh, there was a request for two trucks. I don't know if we ever took a vote on the first. I think we did, but just <coughs> there's three here. Okay, so just for... Uh, it's only two trucks. Spare motor. But you want to get rid of that as well? Yes. All right, our policy has been followed. There has been uh, contact and communication to other departments. Uh, with that being said, I'll entertain a motion to allow the highway department to place 1977 Mack truck parts only as is, 1980 Mack truck parts only as is, and how you pronounce it, Scanani? Scanani. Motor for 1980 Mack truck on the Mississippi. I'll make the motion. Sure. Any discussion? No. Any none all in favor? Aye. Aye. There is no other, unless you guys have other. Just, uh, <coughs> real, just real quick, since we have reporters in the room, I have two two meetings that I'd like to make sure people are aware of. That uh, I did uh, have the opportunity to visit with uh, Mass Historical last week with uh, the chief archaeologist or director of archaeology for New Mass. So the, the Adena project is fully kicked off. Everybody's all on board. We have a meeting on February the 15th, 6 to 8, here in the uh, banquet hall, where, where we're really searching for people who know things about the area, but it's, it will also be educational, mm -hmm. that people will have a chance to learn about what happened um, 3,000 years ago, and over the last 3,000 years in the town of Brookfield. The Brookfield truly was a hub. Back to, we think of 495 and 128 and all that. Well, this was the 128 or the 495 of that era, so it, it'll be good. Uh, and on the February 15th, over next door at the uh, church, there is an opportunity for those who are, uh, have forest products or would forest land and would like to uh, take advantage of some pro government, government programs or the uh, um, chapter of land kind of things will be explained as well. So I just want to put that out there for people to take advantage of. If you can pass that along to uh, Lindsay to post on Facebook as well. Thank you. That time that second meeting, Clark? Do you know? Second meeting. Next door. Yeah, that's the yes. church. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. Anything else? Correspondence, we've received communication through the governor's office that the fire department has been awarded two grants, one for student awareness fire education and one for a senior safe program. Uh, correspondence um, will be following for procurement of that in the next two weeks and we'd ask that administrative assistant forwards that to so the proper. So there's no money? What? There is, yeah, dollar amounts. What's the dollar amount? For, and these are, we get these every year, uh, $3,063 for the student awareness and 2295 for the senior. Awesome. Yeah. Any other issues? No. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. And I'll second it.
Any discussion? Any mm -hmm. all favor? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Aye.